Welcome to Patagonia Lake State Park. Good morning, by the way. We're at Patagonia Lake State Park today. Uh, we're going to be doing the Black Hawk Trail to Sunita Creek Loop. We just passed a spillway, which you saw maybe part of that. Uh, there's a big old cow sitting right there, so we we're skirting him. Not that he was dangerous or anything, but you know, you never know. And then, uh, yeah, it was kind of interesting that you cross a spillway. There was a bunch of reviews on all trails that said, you know, unpassable. And I'm like, how could a trail be unpassable? Well, that's how. <laughs> because if the spillway was open, you wouldn't be able to cross that thing at all. You'd uh, get sopping wet or you'd have to take off your shoes, but it'd be uh, covered in algae, you know? So it'd be really slippery. So you'd have to be careful. Anyways, this is beautiful back in here. Love listening to the water too. Look at that. Pretty. Let's do this hike, huh? We go this way apparently. You're in Arizona, Eden, huh? Nice. Look at all the agatillo growing just straight out of the ground like that. It might be a cave in there. <laughs> you never know. Look, here's a wash. Just like when Donnie feeds Karchner, this wash might feed a little baby cave in there. Goodness. Look at those mountains off in the distance. How beautiful. Jen's Vista. Wonder who Jen was. This is cool. Oh, look at that. It's like a little waterfall. Well, they have a ton of water this time of year, too. Isn't that crazy? How it funnels through what we walked over. And it falls down and out. Yeah, Jen, you had a lovely view. Imagine being a caver in the 70s, just like what he was describing. Karshner Caverns. I mean, what if that hill really is a, a cave? You know what I mean? Because it very well could be. But they were talking about how uh, those guys in the 1970s, because flashlights were huge and cumbersome with huge batteries, you know? So nobody took those. So cavers did the, like the kerosene lantern basically on your forehead. You had to keep lighting it literally with like a match and it kept blowing out. I mean, like, no way I would carry something like that with me. That's crazy. say trail no horses no bikes good to know oh you can hear it too there's nothing out here beautiful back in here wow what a nice end to the trip we had a really nice time. And it was beautiful weather too, even though, you know, sometimes it's gray clouds a few times, but it's still good. Ah, yeah. Day three, Patagonia Lake State Park. I need to film more at the actual park itself, but yeah, this trail is super nice. Oh yeah, and there's an old structure right there. Black Hawk Trail, no horses, got it. This is cool. I kind of want to see this right quick. I wonder what it is. Or what it was. Nothing here now. Just graffiti. I wonder if 
this was an old railroad then. She said that this trail name is Railroad. This doesn't look anything like a railroad. Because we're doing... Oh, we're here. Okay. We're here? It doesn't make any right. sense. So we did... Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it's a free day to get into all the parks in Arizona if you're an Arizona resident. So we were able to get into this one for free even though we're already staying at a cabin. Oh, that's the other thing I have to film is the cabins. Teal plants. They're huge. I don't see how there can be a scenic view at the end of this trail. Jen's overlook. You can see from here where we were. We took those pictures. There's the bench at the top of that hill. And there's the overlook. Look at how tall some of these Akateo plants are. Holy cow. They say this grows out of limestone too. I want to name this cave Jillian Camps. I don't know. They find a cave in this area. I'm claiming it already. There's got to be one in that hill. I mean, look at all those Akatio. Look at how tall these are. It's like a forest. Look at where all the people climb down. Holy cow, look at all these. To give you a quick tour look at how beautiful it is in here these are really nice cabins uh, we're at patagonia lake state park and comes with a microwave and a little fridge bunk beds and the master this is just a waterproof cover that's the way it looks kind of weird but it's really nice and comes with little two tables. I mean, it's a very small cabin, but you know, it works out good. Now you notice there's no bathroom, but the nearest bathroom is pretty close, you know? And then you get a really beautiful view. 